total devastation. Northport was one of the areas that here that was hit hard by this storm tonight. So many people just trying to pick up the pieces there tonight. Our Shannon Clo has been in that area and has more. Well, the damage in this community, it's just unimaginable. There are piles of debris on every single street. They're taller than me, and these aren't just piles of debris, but these were people's homes. And for some, this was just all they had. 80% of the park is just annihilated. Living in the Harbor Cove community in Northport, Lori and Carl Frederick are coming back to a damaged community. This is stuff that we've seen on TV happening to other people never expecting it to happen to us. They evacuated last week to Tennessee, but tonight they're checking out their neighborhood for friends who were still gone. But as we've, you know, inspected other friends homes, then we have the heartbreaking we got a job time. of telling well, them they have no house left to come to. And you got to call them up and tell them. Yeah, so she goes, how's my house? Did, did we get any water inside? And I'm like, Honey, I hate to tell you, but you have no house left. It's gone. They're in tears because they've been in this community since 1975, making friends that are now family. And a lot of these people are not going to be able to afford to repair it or come back. You know, so we're going to lose our friends and all the good times that we've had. Yeah. Their hearts are like most of these homes, in pieces. I mean, this is her home. This is where she lives. And, you know, it's, it's demolished. Just down US 41 in Mayaka RV Resort, John Collins rode out the storm in his trailer because he wasn't able to evacuate. It was really very scary. The trailer was rocking like crazy. Just feet away, John Collins' neighbors' homes were ripped apart. And I kept thinking, oh, this is this is just not good. And you know, there you are trapped. But he survived, and like Carl and Lori, they're thankful no one they know died. Nothing left. They would have been chewed up. But nobody yeah. got hurt. That was a gift. While homes are gone, they remind themselves their friends who live inside are still here. The big message from this community is to get through this together. I'm in Northport, Shannon Clough, 10 Tampa Bay.